A positive inflation report is signaling a possible rate cuts at the next Federal Reserve meeting. It would come as the race for the White House heats up, with the economy as the most pressing issue for voters. Connor Hansen has more. A new inflation report shows prices rose by only 0.2% from June to July. It's a closely watched trend, and many believe it will be more reason for the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates soon. I think that these numbers came out about what we expected, obviously, maybe even a little bit better. The news comes after Fed Chair Jerome Powell hinted at a possible change last week. The time has come for policy to adjust. The direction of travel is clear, and the timing and pace of rate cuts will depend on incoming data. Experts are interpreting that as a sign rate cuts are coming, eventually leading to lower costs for loans and credit card interest. That's a very clear message uh, that you know, one should anticipate that there would be rate cuts at the upcoming um, September FOMC meeting. A September rate cut would be politically convenient for Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign. She and President Biden say the economy has improved under their watch, but both acknowledge prices still need to come down. We had to recover as an economy, and we have done that. I'm very proud of the work that we have done that has brought inflation down to less than 3 percent. Meanwhile, former President Trump continues to argue on the campaign trail that he is better suited to handle the economy, the number one issue for voters. Over the past four years, Kamala and crooked Joe Biden have presided over an economic reign of terror, committing one financial atrocity after another. The Fed is holding its next meeting where it could adjust interest rates on September 17th. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.